hope it's just my bearings are loose. Boy, it don't sound good. That ah, runs quiet. There's a jam that holds it in there. I bet it's just, I bet it's just loose. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a, pull that thing up off there and tighten it up. Surely that's okay, all Okay, I'm is. gonna make an assumption. I pulled the motor out. Let me get her. Here's what happens in there. It's quiet. Come on, zoom, you son of a butt. Focus. This phone's on that stick. Best I can put into it is just typical bearing wear. It must have crept up on me. The way this works, if I remember correctly, I've slept since then. But you see there's a gap between the top threads and the bottom, or the top doodads and the bottom uh, splines. This is a nut, and you hammer around to snug that nut up, and then when you slide the shaft back in, it's what jams it tight. So, my idea about the bearings coming loose couldn't happen. It just should be typical wear. And it was full of grease, so it wasn't dry or nothing. But it's just typical wear. So, we're gonna snow. Jesus jumped up Christ. I went to tighten that, it ain't that at all. Son of a bugger. Daggone it, I got other problems. Well, it's a good thing that beard's on the bottom disc is falling off of it. In case y'all was wondering, is Logger Wade an idiot or not? No. Oh, let me answer that question here. If I can get back here. Here we go. Bolt's coming loose. That's what's wrong with it. But me, no. I go right to the worst thing I could think of. The daggone bearings coming loose. Clean them all out. Oh, oh, they're nasty. Look how tight that's in there. Oh, man. I'll set y'all up here. You can watch a minute. I'll clean on it. Derek's on the den den today because Stevie's sick. I got him started. He's, he said he'll be fine. Leave him alone. So I put him on it. So far, he ain't broke nothing. So he should be good. I had him ahead of everybody that weighs enough for him to stumble around and figure it out, you know? Oh. It takes a while to learn to den den. It's kind of complex. But he's ran boom and buck saw and stuff like that. He, he'll figure it out. Oh. Oh. Boy, that stuff is packed in there tight. Oh, man. Oh. That stuff's been working too. Okay. I ain't going to end Well, I think they called for blue Loctite, but I ain't Loctiting them. Because I'm getting ready to take that back apart, anyways, and uh, change that plate up on the front. It is nasty, nasty. Oh. 
Oh, this is gonna be boring. I ain't gonna sit there and type my phone. But there you are. Whew. Gonna be a ways around. One more. Got the cogs lined back up in from a little goofball mistake earlier. Let me get back in here. We'll set her rig back together. I got two tubes in it, it don't matter. It'll come out the van if I get too much in it. Y'all see all right? Slid her down in there. Oh yeah, nice and tight, nice and tight. Okay. So you got that took care of. That's all took care of. Okay, y'all ready? Fire's puppy up.
checked on Derek. He says he's doing pretty good down there. Very good. That's good news. Good, good news. If he's having any trouble, I'm sure he'd have told me. That's one thing I like about old Derek. You don't hear much out of him. It just gets done. He's a lot like me. I drove out here, I told him I got a little bearing problem. I'm gonna be a little bit. I'll holler back when I'm done. Anybody out there working for somebody else, that's what they wanna hear. They wanna hear how bad that job sucked that you just got done. They don't wanna hear, can't do this, can't do that. Ain't getting this done, ain't getting that done. Get it done. More results, not excuses. That's how Big Mama's been my whole life. All she needs is results. She don't need my excuses. And that's why I'm still around. It's because I deliver results and not excuses. They ain't always perfect. I promise you that. I don't always keep from tearing stuff up. I promise you that too, but it gets done. One way or the other. It's kind of southern, don't it? One way, all the other. Logger Brandon been texting me. You wouldn't believe the skitter them boys are looking at. They buy it. You ought to check his channel out and see what that looks like. It looks like a sweetheart. It's an older one. It ain't a newer one, but it's like new. It's an old skitter. It's a 2000 G3, I think he said. It looks like brand new. And it's got like brand new hours on it, too. It's only got like less than a thousand on it. I want to do a bunch of hand cutting on this job here in the next few days. I'm going to get a bunch of chainsaw time in. I'll get some cutting veggies for y'all. I've been getting requests for more cutting veggies.
last thing to hook up is the cage drain. Which is going to be the most aggravating. It just runs like a hose. I mean, it's open to the tank and it just drains the tank. She is a gusher now. That wasn't bad. Hope it didn't knock an O-ring on. And it's number 12, too. Daggone case drain on these things. A three-quarter inch case drain. That's something you don't see every day. But there ain't no seal failure, I promise you that. I'll shut you all off. I gotta chase the threads on that last door. This metal one. It pulls the threads on these because it pushes trees push against this. And this ain't much of a housing to hold threads. <laughs> oh yeah, boy, get done, get done, get done. is new with a few dings in it let me get the male version of this unit and the runner in there where's that at? is that this here beep 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 well we're in there we're done. Snug as a bug in a rug. And it's tight. I actually gained two splines out of that nut in there to make it even tighter than it was. So it is tight. It's about time to replace my plate, though. But it is snug as a bug in a rug. Let's get back here and tip us some trees down. Go tree tipping. <laughs> 